Hello everyone, this is Juanita the Sonista. I am the admin here in All Things Sewn, and I am here today to share with you a few sewing hacks, okay? Uh, I'm sitting out in my garage, believe it or not, and it's really, really hot out here. I have a little fan blowing, but you know, so if I look all shiny and hot or whatever, that's the reason for that. But I wanted to come on. I've been uh, working and organizing uh, some of my sewing uh, materials and stuff like that. And I decided, hey, let me just jump on and show them uh, some of the little things that I'm doing or some other little techniques that they can use in organizing their sewing. Whether you are uh, a beginner or an intermediate or advanced seamstress, you always want to stay organized. The first little hack I want to show you guys is this here. Okay, can you guys see that? It's a uh, pedicure set I bought from the 99 cent store. And these um, little foam thingies here, you know, you put your toes between them. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can use these, okay, by taking one out of the pack. And once you get to going with sewing, you're going to accumulate a lot of bobbins. And, you know, when bobbins drop on the floor or what have you, they tend to unwind and you have thread going all over the place. Well, if you take these and you wind the rest of the end of the thread that's hanging here, get it in there really good, and you stick it into the toe of one of these, okay, like so. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. Okay. And then I have another one here. I'm going to put that one in there. I didn't bring out a lot of bobbins. I just want you guys to kind of get the picture, okay? And you can stick another one in there, like so. Oh, I didn't wrap that one very well. Hold on. Let me get this around here really good. Okay. So you want to kind of wind the excess thread from the bobbin. And then you want to put it over in here. Okay. So you can actually fit four in there. Okay. So. You can sit that down, and when they're fully, you know, kind of still fully wound or what have you, they do hold everything together for you. So that's a nice little sewing hack to keep your bobbins, okay? And then you can find some type of container with the lid or what have you, and you can put that in there. So that's your sewing hack for the bobbins, okay? If you want to store your bobbins, uh, you want to have them sitting there, and that way if they fall off the table, no big deal. Just kind of have them trapped in there, and they'll keep them kind of handy for you. Another sewing hack, and remember, I bought that from the 99 cent store. You may already have one at home, but you might want to buy a few more, okay? My next sewing hack is for patterns, okay? We get these patterns. We want to know where do we put all these patterns, you know? It's hot, you guys. Um, so, I was in the 99 cent store, so not only did I buy the little pedicure set, but I bought this, what they call is a corrugated fowl, okay? And it's a fowl holder. And it's just a box, and they had different designs. And I picked this design, and I kind of put it together. I need to put some tape on the bottom, okay? And so you got this little neat little box here. And what you can do is you can store your patterns in there, okay? So you can put all of your patterns in here. Okay, I don't know how many it'll hold, but it'll hold quite a few because you see you still got a lot of room there. Okay, and then you can kind of set this on a shelf and you can buy several of these and put them all in there if you want to um, arrange them in order by the pattern number or if you want one and it just says, you know, children pattern, children girl patterns, adult dresses, adult skirts, adult blouses, or whatever, you can do that. So this is another handy little way to... Um, organize your patterns as well as the one I just showed you with the bobbins. Now the next hack I have here, I have two more hacks for you. Hang in there. Um, let's say you just cut out your pattern and I, I don't know if some of you uh, beginner sewers have heard about the, the sewing clips or the fabric clips or whatever you want to call them, um, but they do have what they call fabric clips or some type of clip and it clips your fabric and it holds your, 
your two uh, pieces of fabric together so that you can take them over to the sewing machine and put them up under there and begin to sew instead of using pins, okay? And um, I'm old school seamstress and I uh, always use pins. Uh, so, but today I went out and said, you know what, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and buy some of those little clips they're talking about. I see everybody using them, okay? And then, if anybody knows me or you'll get to know me, I'm always looking for a way to save, a way to uh, budget, um, and you know, just save money somehow, some way, especially when you're sewing, because that's the idea of sewing, is to be able to save money instead of going into these high priced in department stores. So I went into Walmart. <clears throat> And I was looking for envelopes, and I was over in the stationary craft section or whatever, and they had these, okay? These are wooden clothespins, old school, just like myself. <laughs> and I said, hey, what can I do with those? And then I went over to the fabric department, and I got a, a piece of fabric, and I took one of the clothespins, and I clipped it to the edge of two pieces of fabric, like I'm doing here, okay? And then I took a couple of more. Yeah, I opened the box, but I also bought it, okay? Um, and anyhow, so those little fabric clips that they're selling, you don't have to go out and buy those. Why? Because not only did I find these clips at Walmart for $2.97 for a pack of 20, but I also found them in the Dollar Tree. I uh, also seen them in the um, 99 cent only store. So I don't know what you have in your area, but any dollar store in your area should sell some wood clothespins. And these are not the really large clothespins that you used to hang clothes with on the line. These are the little miniature ones, and they will work just as well as those fabric clips that they're selling, and they're a lot more cheaper. And so if you lose these or whatever, you don't have to panic. You just go and you grab another box or bag of them from the 99 cent store. So as you sew along, you remove the clips as you sew, and you remove the clips as you sew, okay? So that's another hack if you don't want to go out, like I said, and purchase those uh, fabric clips, because I'm not buying them now. I have some fabric clips. And then if I wanted to, you know, really be fancy with these, I can spray them different colors or what have you, or I think they had them in some other colors. I think they were like a gold metallic or something like that also in Walmart. But, I, you know, I just said, hey, these are fine, you know? Alrighty, and that leads us to our last sewing hack. Uh, I bought this fabric the other day at Walmart. They are uh, redoing their sewing department at mostly all Walmarts, and they had a lot of clearance fabric marked down for $1. Uh, you may not have known if you went into your Walmart that it was $1 but me, the way that I am. I took out my phone. I have the Walmart app. I use the Walmart Mart price scanner, and I began to scan uh, bolts of fabric, and I found and purchased over 20-some different prints of fabric, all for a dollar. So I bought uh, two yards up to four yards of each, okay? Uh, so I have plenty of fabric, and now I wanted to know, what do I do with that fabric, okay? So, like I said, I was in Walmart. Everybody knows what this is? If you don't, this is the uh, end of the bolt of a, a fabric, and it's wrapped around this cardboard, okay? So this is the end of the fabric that was on this bolt, and they had a bunch of these stacked. And I asked, hey, what are you guys going to do with those? And the young guy that was helping in the fabric department said, hey, I have no idea. I don't work over here. I said, well, could you call somebody over here that can help me out? that I could possibly ask if I can have these, okay? So he called a manager over and the manager came over and I said, are you guys gonna be throwing these away? Do you recycle them? What do you do? And he said, well, if you want them, you can have them. I'm like, great. Okay, so my trunk is full of all of these now, okay? So fabric used to be on these in Walmart, but now my fabric is gonna be on these. Cause what I'm going to do is take all of that fabric instead of having it folded in a bag, in a box or wherever, you know, you store your fabric, you can go and you can ask in your local Walmart. Now, I don't know if Joann's will do this or any other fabric store will give you their bolts, but Walmart gave me theirs, so I, now I'm going to be going in there all the time. And you can take this, okay, and you can wrap this back around here, the fabric, okay. Alrighty, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. It, it doesn't have to be 
neatly straight or anything on this video, but I got all that fabric around there. That was two yards, okay? And just like they do in Walmart, they have a rubber band. And I will take this rubber band and I'll put it around this fabric. And now my fabric is back on to the fabric bolt. Let me straighten that out so it won't be so wrinkled. And what I can do now at this point is go ahead on the top or the bottom, whichever one I want to use. I may not want to use this side because it had the information of the fabric that you once used to be on this bolt. So I might turn it around here and I may put that it's two yards, 45 inches, you know, of fabric. And um, then I'll store this away. So when I get ready to sew with this fabric, uh, whatever I'm going to be making, I can just take a quick look at how many yards is on this bolt, how wide this fabric is, and then I'm ready to use it. But then it's stored away nicely, and I can either store them flat like this and stack them up on a shelf, or I can turn them this way and line them up, and that way I can look at the prints on my fabric and see and be able to pick a fabric that I want to use for the day. So those are the four sewing hacks for today. Don't forget, go buy your pedicure, little spongies for your bobbins, small miniature clothes pins to clip the sides of your fabric, your seam, you a corrugated file holder for your patterns, and of course, ask around in your local fabric stores or Walmart for the end bolt that they're going to throw away anyway, and they may just give them to you. So thanks for joining me. Once again, this is Juanita Sonista. If you have any questions or if you want to share any hacks with us, make sure that you post them in the group. If you think any of your friends or family would be interested in uh, joining our group, make sure to add them to the group. Uh, and until next time, uh, with our sewing hacks, Thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.